Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be showing you a brand new shiny hunting method that is incredibly helpful when shiny hunting small Pokemon such as shiny Flabebe and also really hard to see shiny Pokemon such as Minior and Tandemouse. This is very much likely a bug that Game Freak have just overlooked, but it 100% works as you'll see from this video. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to Nabil, one of the channel's viewers, for helping bring this bug to my attention and also helping me record the guide video too. Without further ado, let's get into this new shiny hunting method. So, starting things off, this is a co-op shiny hunting method. You'll either need to be with a friend in order to do this method, or if you're lucky enough to own two Nintendo Switches, that also works too. So, starting things off, player one, aka the host, will have to search for an outbreak for a shiny that you're looking for. You can easily use the date skipping technique to keep resetting outbreaks until you find the one you're looking for. We used Minior for this guide video as it's pretty impossible to tell if it's a shiny or not as you have to actually break the meteor shell to see if it actually is a shiny or not or just encounter every single one. Both of these tactics aren't ideal. Once you've found the outbreak, player one needs to attack the Pokemon inside it until you've hit 60 plus Pokemon. This amount killed will give you the best outbreak odds. I'd recommend just going until you see the message in the top right corner that says there are not many Pokemon left from the original outbreak as this indicates you have passed 60 plus Pokemon in that outbreak. Now that's out of the way, you need to join your friend's world. Again, this can be done locally, online or if you have two Nintendo Switches. Once you've joined your friend's world, you can either make a sparkling power sandwich to boost your shiny odds even further or player two can just head straight to the outbreak. It's completely up to you. Now, this is where the bug kicks in. Player two can constantly eliminate Pokemon from this outbreak and it will never ever vanish. Usually when you take out a certain amount of Pokemon from an outbreak, it disappears and you lose it forever. However, with this method, it never goes. It just stays there and player two is free to constantly faint Pokemon until the shiny shows up. The odds will of course be boosted because the outbreak is already at 60 plus kills and so you can just keep attacking them without any worry that the outbreak will end. Something that is massively important though is that player one cannot be near the outbreak. If player one is near the outbreak, the outbreak will continue to dwindle down and disappear. They have to be in a completely different location on the map, otherwise this method will not work. Whilst player two is attacking the outbreak, Player 1 will obviously have to go off and do something else. They could shiny hunt in a different outbreak, Masuda method, or even just complete BBQ challenges to get you both blueberry points. Eventually, the shiny Pokemon will show up though. You'll know it's a shiny Pokemon because your Pokemon that is auto-battling will refuse to attack the Pokemon, and a small sweat mark will pop up in the bottom left corner. After that, it's completely up to you two who gets the shiny Pokemon. However, being in co-op, this method also has its drawbacks. Now, obviously, the outbreak won't disappear, as we all know, but unfortunately, spawns take a massive hit when you're not playing solo. Player 2 will be only spawning roughly 5 to 7 Pokemon at a time. This isn't a lot, but at the same time, it's not really a massive issue because you're just going to be auto-battling the Pokemon anyway, and a new Pokemon will spawn after you've taken a Pokemon out of the outbreak. So it's not really the worst thing in the world. The main issue is that in co-op, you can't save before the shiny Pokemon encounter. Usually when playing solo and you find a shiny, you can save before the encounter. And if something goes wrong, you can just reset the game to get another chance at catching the Pokemon. You don't get this luxury in co-op though. If you fail the shiny, you fail it for good. This means you need to become incredibly prepared before trying this method and do research on the Pokemon you're shiny hunting to see if it has any moves such as Memento or Takedown or Explosion or anything like that. Any kind of self-damaging moves that will make the Pokemon faint itself. Take Minior for example. This Pokemon can explode. So I'm using a Swampert with the Damp ability to make sure if it tries to faint itself by using Explosion, my Damp ability will counteract it. You can always Quick Bowl the Pokemon too, so you have the best chance of catching it straight away, but that's never really guaranteed. 
And there we go. That is this new shiny hunting method. Again, it's not crazy. It doesn't really like boost your odds or anything like that. But it honestly really, really helps when trying to find difficult shiny Pokemon. As I've said before, you just can't tell if Minior is a shiny without attacking every single one or getting into a battle with every single one. Whereas with this method, you can just keep attacking the outbreak until your Pokemon doesn't want to attack a Pokemon because then it's obviously the shiny. This works with a lot of Pokemon as well, so it's really, really useful for that. But as I say, because it's co-op, you will need someone to do it with or another Switch. But that ends everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do consider hitting the like button down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really, really does help out. Leave a comment. Are you going to try this method? And if you already have tried it, how many shiny Pokemon have you successfully got from it? Let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. That's everything from me, though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Have a fantastic Christmas. And until next time, peace.